Welcome to the Maria Liberati Show, where food meets art, travel, and life. So what does food mean to you? Well, this week, my special guest is Italian travel expert, and I do mean he is a real expert. Almost anything you would want to know about traveling and discovering really interesting parts of Italy, you can ask him, and, and he just knows everything. His name is Moreno Moretti, and his company is ItalyCharm.com, that's C H A R. ME.com. I also did a lot of videos um, with him as a guide in Italy, and you can find those videos at some interesting places in Italy. Uh, you can find them on my YouTube channel at the Maria Liberati Show, also on uh, my Roku channel, The Basic Art of Italian Cooking by Maria Liberati. So the interview today is with Moreno Moretti. And also, I just want to announce that um, in honor of this being an Italian an interview about Italy, we are doing a giveaway with Happy Day Brands, and they're at happydaybrands.com. So if you share and like this episode and uh, hashtag it, the Maria Liberati show, you'll be entered in a giveaway to win some really delicious organic gluten-free pasta from Happy Day Brands, happydaybrands.com. We will be announcing the winner on February 15th. So you have from now until February 15th, actually two weeks to uh, enter and, uh, Obviously, the more times that you like and share the episode, the the more entries that you'll have. So don't forget, like and share this episode and hashtag it, the MariaLiberatiShow.com. And I just did want to mention a special thank you to everyone that joined me at the Ridgewood Winery in Bechtelsville, Pennsylvania for the four-course wine pairing dinner. I know everyone had a great time, and I did too. I loved meeting everyone. We had a nice crowd. And and the menu was four cheese tortellini in a creamy spinach broth. And uh, then we had an Umbrian panini, a traditional type of panini that they do in Umbria, and a warm salad with blue cheese or gorgonzola and pomegranate. And then we had two desserts, a caramel apple tort and a pumpkin strudel crustata. It was yummy. So hope you can join us for the next one. I will be announcing a few more dates for our next four course wine pairing dinners. Of course, all the courses get paired with the wonderful wines there at the Ridgewood Winery. It's a beautiful location also. Great. Well, everyone is always asking me about, do I know anyone that could help them if they want to travel to Italy, an expert, while they're there to take them around? And uh, I have a special guest. He's a good friend of mine. And it's the only expert that I would go to if I was traveling to Italy. He took me around and, and uh, taught me about so many places in Italy that I was not even aware of. So my special guest today is Moreno Moretti, and uh, his company is called Italy Charm. It's italycharm.com, right, Moreno? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Italycharm.com. And, uh, you know, he can talk about so many regions, but we, we picked Sicily today. We were going to talk a little bit about Sicily. Lots of people like to travel there. And... Uh, so, Marina, what, uh, tell us something about Sicily. Why would you, if, if somebody wants to travel there or is trying to think of where they should, should travel in Italy, what, why would be the best reasons to travel to Sicily? Okay, good, good, good question, Maria. Um, well, there is a journalist, I don't remember the name, but it was saying if you start a trip to Italy, first you need to start from Sicily and then you will understand how Italy is complex. Uh, if we're looking in back end in, in, um, in, uh, in the history, uh, Sicily has been uh, one of the key of Europe, uh, the key of uh, the entry door for Europe, the entry door for Italy. Uh, that's meaning uh, it were interesting, attractive island to dominate it and uh, 
in Sicily, they passing more than 17 different uh, different culture. Let's say from Greek, Roman, uh, German, uh, Arab, Spain, uh, Turkish, and and Piedmont as well. Is an is a very confusion, but in the confusion there are such a beautiful, charming uh, history product. Let's talk about, for example, about uh, cannolo, the, the the famous oh, yeah. pastry. Majority yes. of this pastry was left from Arab, so that's cannolo, this fried stuff. The Arab teach to the Sicilian people. I mean, when it dominated, they living some, uh, they living important tradition on, on that. Uh -huh. uh, about chocolate, uh, for example, the, the the chocolate in Ragusa, in Modica, pardon, uh -huh. uh, the Spain, uh, the Spain people left uh, left uh, left them. I mean, they, they teaching how to making the chocolate uh, how because the spain they when the importing uh, chocolate from uh, south america also they dominated uh, the kingdom of sicily it's uh, starting in sicily but ending in central italy so it made how powerful and uh, important and prestigious uh, there are uh, we can talk just if you want to see deeply palermo at least uh, you need to spend uh, a couple one or two months uh, to understand and learning the culture and also admiring the architecture that can give you a very good idea. My favorite area is uh, Catania, Ortigia, uh, Syracuse, uh, Noto. It's uh, very important, is the considered in the capital of Baroque, of Sicilian Baroque. It's very Sicilian traditional architecture and also combine, um, you know, when you get in the fish market, uh, you're really briefing the, the soul of Sicilian people. Uh, I, I tell you a story. I was, uh, I was with a journalist um, on the mountains of Sicily, huh? because before, uh, I mean, it's snowing in Sicily, in, uh, on the Etna, it's snowing. Now? In front of, in front, yeah, yeah, in oh front my of, gosh. Uh, in, yeah, yeah, in front of, see, in front of, um, on top of Syracuse, it we've been in this villa called Bukeri, and uh -huh. where it's Bukeri, it's one of the village where uh, Sicilian made the granita. You know granita, how yes, this works. Yes, I do. Yes, great. So granita, yeah. we can tell people it's like shaved ice with syrup, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, we've been in the cave uh, where in the past, in the 17th century, the local people put the um, put the the, the, the granita to conserve it they put the ice to conserve it in the, for all the winter and when come the spring they put this piece of ice they pack they cut they cut this ice mm -hmm. and go with horse in the fish market on the village down there in the in the in the seaside uh -huh. and they were selling uh, the they was uh, and they were selling the ice uh, and they can get back some fish so it was very no money involved but interesting product yes. but the, the funny story maria that they was export uh, salt and ice uh, in malta in 17th century so in mid the power of trade uh, i was active uh, at the age uh, and uh, well um, sicily it's something that uh, if you go you can get capture how charming and how beautiful they are you know what and, marino uh, there's a tv show montalbano that uh right montalbano yeah, yeah, that yeah, we yeah. can see in america and i know he there's a seaside resort that he's mostly at in sicily right what's that i can't think of the it's name of the town uh, south of Syracuse. it's a very it's a very close cool, it's a south from Syracuse. Uh, uh, no it's a uh, South uh, east uh, of Sicily, but it's the, there's a it's actually famous. I think Maria Grazia Cucinato was born there. Do you know the town? Yeah, yeah, that's also that's uh, no. I mean, actually, I didn't know about this Maria. Maria it's a Grazia. seaside resort. I can't think of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just yeah. going to say, if people want to see a little bit of Sicily, if they watch Detective Montalbano, you can catch, you can find that in America. People can watch. Uh, Montalbano also to see some some scenery if they want to see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, I totally understand this. I mean, yes. for, for that, uh, 
it's uh, well, I mean, about Sicily, I told you, I mean, it's extremely interesting uh, uh, to make. Um, also, I love it uh, exploring the Etna, yeah. the Vesu, the, the Etna Vulcan. It's uh, very interesting to visit the small wine producer around the Etna. Uh-huh. Around Mount Etna. Beautiful. So that's I just want to say Mount Etna is a, the volcano for people that aren't aware the, of it. Yes, the Mount only Etna. active uh, is the most bigger active volcano in the Europe. Uh, and uh, time to time, a couple of times a year, they is around, uh, is working. Uh, but also it's very interesting uh, that we call a slow food producer to visit around the Etna Vulcan because it's called also very Let's say courage is a very courage business. It's a very courage uh, agriculture because uh -huh. you never know that an eruption can destroy everything you produce. Oh wow! And, so they uh, have to be courageous then to be producing around yeah, there. But the, yeah, the soil, I guess, the soil is probably very good for the things the they grow around there. The soil is amazing. The soil for uh, the mineral that they generate in this land is something uh, unbelievable because uh, they, they build up such a mineral, a great fresh wine because uh, the soil is extremely mineral. They have uh -huh. the seaside in front with a very salt wind. Yes. Uh, you know, it's a piece of God because uh, it's very interesting. And then, uh, also, I love pistachio. Pistachio is very, oh, yes. uh -huh. very involved. Uh, it's extremely very involved, the pistachio, in the Sicilian pastry, both yes. Sicilian recipe. So that's meaning, uh, well, there are a lot of um, of these things, you know. That's, yes, uh, I know for breakfast, a lot of times they do the pistachio gelato in the brioche, right? In the coffee bars yeah, there. Yeah, 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 so yeah, if, yeah, yeah. if you anyone goes there, you have to try that. It's so good. They make the gelato fresh. So what is there... Uh, the best what is there the best time of the year you would recommend for people to visit sicily is there any uh i would suggest uh, um i would suggest uh, around um let's say not um Augusta because it could be too hot too hot yes but i will i will suggest uh, uh, i will suggest uh, um let's say march april june Yes. September, October, until middle November. It's uh -huh. very, very interesting. That's they're good times. So, Moreno, I want you to tell, before we go, I want you to tell everybody about your company. It's an amazing company. And, um, you know, as I said, if anyone wants to travel to Italy, they should contact you. It's Italy Charm with an E at the M. So people know C-H-A-R-M-E.com. But tell us a little bit about your company. It's amazing. So, yes. We are, we are a boutique uh, travel tour operator. We focus only in a customized vacation. Uh, we have nothing, we have no fixed departure. We just working on um, when we get the request, uh, we understand what is the expectation of the client, the interesting point. Uh, if they want to explore more secret part of Naples or interesting to see a different part of Vatican. So depending on the expectation of the client. Mm -hmm. uh, our concept is a storytelling pro program. We want to teach to the client, educating the client to, to see how the workshop is made, to talk with the farmer, to see how the shoes is made. So we want to share in an Italian lifestyle, not just go on vacation and see. I mean, I want that the people in the ground uh, make a very interesting quality time because that's the most important things. And the second point is uh, build up a very sustainable travel business in terms of supporting you in terms of I show you something that without us it was not possible, but at the same time uh, helping local community to, to survive because uh, we, we selling uh, uh, authentic things, you know, we, we sell, we, we want to we we selling quality time. We we provide quality time, and to make yes. this, we need to have a very good quality in the ground. So that need to be a very good synergy together between the traveler and the ground in terms of you know new sustainable way to 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 survive. You know in, yes, the, in the yes. ground. Yes, and I just want to say yes. Uh, people always want to come to Italy to experience the real Italy, and if you. 
if you don't have family in Italy or somebody that you are know that you know that you can stay with, if you just stay in a hotel, you're only going to see just sites. You you won't understand. You won't get the stories of the people and and the tr the local, the really local things. And that's what Moreno's company really helps you to do. I try to do that in my books to let people know about those things. But if you're going to Italy and you really want to experience it, you need somebody like Moreno to, to really get you into these places so you can see the real Italy. And also, I just want to mention that on my YouTube channel, uh, Moreno and I did some videos exploring um, a few. We did a truffle hunt. Um, we explored the birthplace of Raffaello. Do you remember the name of that town where the birthplace of Raffaello? Urbino. Urbino. Urbino that's right. Urbino. And uh, I think there's another video there, but they're on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to put the link to that on um, my my website, the MariaLiberatiShow.com, so you can see that. But you'll see how he really helped me to tell the story of um, of those places. And I think we did also, didn't you do the video with me when we went to, didn't you take me to the Fiorano Vineyards in uh, La Marque? Ah, yeah, yeah, we did the Fiorano. Yes, we went there. I have a video of that too. So a lot of these places that Moreno took me to are on my YouTube channel, and you'll see how you can really see the story of these little places. So, Moreno, it was so nice having you. I'm so glad to see you again. Hopefully, we'll get. I'll I'll be back again soon. But it's so nice being able to see you. And uh, so, everyone, how can they tell us how people can find you? To book if they want on the to website italyshop.com, they can uh, sign up or register your agency or send an, a message, and that uh, we take care of them. Yes, great. All right, and again, it's Italy I T A L Y Charm C H A R M E dot com, and I'll put the link on my website also, so you'll see that. And uh, definitely, so, yeah, yes, if you're planning a trip to Italy, you know you definitely want to reach out to him and tell him you heard about him from the podcast. All right, ciao, Moreno. It was so nice seeing you. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, yeah. ciao. Ciao, ciao. Thanks for listening to the Maria Liberati Show. Thanks for joining us. And as always, thanks to my producer, Britton Roselle, and this week's special guest, Italian travel expert, Moreno Moretti from Italy Charm, that's C-H-A-R-M-E dot com. And uh, don't forget, share and like this episode, hashtag it, the Maria Liberati Show, and you'll be entered in a giveaway to win organic gluten-free pasta from Happy Day Brands. That's happydaybrands.com. It's really yummy pasta and it's gluten-free also, so most can eat it and it's organic, which is great as well. So don't forget, like and share this episode and also hashtag it the Maria Liberati Show. And as always, you can find me at marialiberati.com. You can find my award-winning book series, The Basic Art of Italian Cooking at artoflivingprimamedia.com. You can also find me on Instagram at Maria Liberati, on Facebook at Chef Maria Liberati, on Twitter at Maria Liberati, on LinkedIn at M Liberati, on Pinterest at Maria Liberati. My Roku channel is The Basic Art of Italian Cooking by Maria Liberati. And my new YouTube channel, The Maria Liberati, show and uh, you may be in a Comcast listening area or viewing area that you can view the commercial for for this podcast the Maria Liberati show I uh, was a recipient of the Comcast Rise Media Award and I have a commercial campaign running on Comcast in selected locations for this podcast. So let me know if you get to see it and if you like it or if you don't. So I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, peace, love, and pasta.